Hello everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a really cheap and very reliable one wide tileable minecart unloading system. This is a pretty simple system that has quite a few uses in the game and can be paired with a ton of different farms. And uh, yeah, this one is actually really cheap and kind of different, but that's because Bedrock is just weird and different. But anyway, we can go ahead and just flick that lever, turn on all the minecarts, and all of the minecarts that picked up items will be automatically unloaded. As soon as they no longer have any items in them, they'll be launched back and forth, trying to pick up even more stuff. And uh, yeah, all the items that gets drained out of them will be automatically shot into this water stream here using an observer clock. And all of those items will just go into your storage system, or in this case, just out here to despawn, because that is, of course, the best use for all of your diamonds. So when you no longer want all of your minecarts to be going back and forth, you can simply unflick the lever or unpower all of these rails, and they'll all just end up over here in a nice straight line, uh, ready to be launched again. And that is basically how you turn off of this system. Now, typically with this kind of system, you would have the minecart stop over here, but in order to do that, we would have to actually like use sticky pistons to retract these blocks. That way this rail is permanently unpowered and that gets very, very expensive very quickly because not only would you need a redstone line, you would also need a sticky piston for every single one of these. And uh, I opted for a much simpler route that doesn't really have any cons just by having a redstone line on this side and uh, as you can see, it works quite fine. So credit where credit is due, of course. Thank you very much to JR Waller on Twitter for sending me this little idea for the minecart unloader. I went through many, many different designs uh, due to Bedrock being very weird, but I never quite thought about moving the hopper one block further back, and that actually solves pretty much every single problem that Bedrock unloaders have. So thank you very much, man. I truly do appreciate it. So here is the entire system stripped down to just a single slice and as you can see you just power the thing it runs back and forth picks up all the items the hopper here drains everything out of it even though it doesn't quite look like it should be able to it works just fine and then this comparator reads from the hopper powers the observer clock which shoots out all the items and it also unpowers the system which keeps it from launching back. And uh, then we have a little bit of an extra safety comparator down here. Now, technically you don't need this if you don't want to install it, but because everything is so random and unreliable in Bedrock Edition, especially when it gets unloaded, uh, it is a good idea to have this here. That way, if any items do get launched out by this system and this comparator, uh, this one will detect it and launch it out. So it's not necessary, but it might be good to have if you don't want to lose anything. Now, there's also another version of this that uses the torch bug, so this may or may not someday be broken, but uh, as you can see, this system works just fine and is a little bit more compact even. So let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? So this line of blocks right here is where all of your items are going to be resting, ready to be picked up by your hopper minecart, which is going to be running beneath it. And in here I have basically our, you know, just standard rail line installed. This is going to be the end that we build all the redstone on. And this end is just going to be where the minecart stops and returns. Nothing too special about it. This can be however long you like. Uh, but the third block back from the end where you want all of your redstone, you're going to want to go down by two blocks and then have a packed ice underneath it. And this is going to be for your item stream that will transport all of your items to your storage system. Uh, so basically underneath the second block right here, you want a dropper and then a hopper going directly down into that with a powered rail on top of it. You also then want a comparator reading from the hopper through this block. You want another block up right here with a redstone torch right there, block above it just like so, and a repeater on one tick right there. Beneath this block you want a sticky piston facing downwards with, a, with an observer facing towards that dropper. One block down from there you want another observer facing towards the sticky piston, and then a block behind that, a redstone torch, and a solid block above it, and that's actually all of your redstone complete. What I would suggest doing is making this block right here some sort of a light emitting block, that way you prevent all the mob spawning in this area. Generally, it's just a very good idea, and if you want to, you can also install another solid block and another comparator right there for your safety, and then just put in a wall right here to keep in all of your water. The last things to do from here is to replace the rail that is directly above your packed ice with a normal one and also install your hopper minecarts. 
Uh, but now what you need to do is also install your water streams and your redstone lines that you're going to need. And I can't really show that on a one wide section. So we're going to move over to this section over here. And starting with the redstone line, uh, this is pretty simple. It's just a redstone line that goes over top all of your blocks that then power the powered rail underneath these. And you won't need this repeating section unless you have a more than 15 unloaders. And this repeating section is really simple. Uh, nothing to this whatsoever. This is the final piece of redstone that will get powered from your input. So this is signal strength 14 and then 15 and then your repeater. And that is more or less it. Very simple, not too much to say about it. And as you can see, it works it just fine. So for your water streams, it's also another very simple system. Of course, we have all the blocks right here normally, but I removed those to show you what's happening. Uh, the water basically just flows to the maximum length that it can. There is then a upper slab, a sign to the upper diagonal of that, and then just a water source above it. And that is more or less all there is to it. You just build those as many times as you need to until all of the items get to the end of your unloaders. And the reason why we're using a water stream right here is because hopper lines can only handle 9,000 items an hour. And if you have this many minecart unloaders, you're going to be getting a whole lot more items than that. So a pretty simple tutorial today, but I hope you all get a bunch of use out of this in your world. Please do let me know in the comment section what you end up using this system for, because I can only really think of a few farms currently on Bedrock that need something like this. But I know a system like this is always very, very useful. Uh, when you do need one, but that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching I do hope that you did enjoy if you did you know what to do leave a like if you're new here consider subscribing and Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys down in the comment section and in the next video and then there was silence